Okay, so I guess I'm on my own out here. Finally. I can do whatever I want. What would I do? What would I do if I could do anything I want? Well, you know what? I've always wanted, I've always wanted to have my own talk show. Can I get like a, like a talk show desk out here? Is that possible? Can I get that? There we go. Oh, yeah, you might want to get rid of some of this furniture. Oh, yeah, I should probably get out of your way. No, there's a desk. Good. I like, I like just asking for stuff and it shows up. It's pretty awesome. Got the chair there, also the desk. All right, good. And the couch. Oh, oh, look at this. I got a, oh, you might have to unclip my, uh, my mic. There we go. And uh, like a real, look at, guys, I'm going to be like a late night talk show host. This is so great. Look at this. Right? Look at this. I got a jacket and a mug and a clipboard and um, pretty awesome. Got a, got a live studio audience <laughs> broadcasting around the globe. I feel like there's one thing missing. Oh, I know. Perfect. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my first guest, the one and only Jens Bergensten. Jens. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you on the show here, Jens. You know, since I first started doing this show, we always wanted to get you on as a guest. It's been kind of a dream of mine. I am, uh, I got to tell you, Jens, first of all, Jens Bergensen, I got to say, I am a big fan. And what is it that you do? <laughs> uh, well, my, in my title is uh, Lead Creative Designer. Um, I'm a Lead Creative Designer. Yeah. That's so, pretty impressive. So, um, so I've been kind of a lead developer of Minecraft uh, for six years now, since the, since the first Minecon. Wow. So, so in that position, do you get to decide everything that happens? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not really. Okay. I, of course, when it, when it comes to the Minecraft game design, I, I, my words matter. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm a very Swedish person. I always look for consensus so that we have... You're always looking for the consensus <laughs> of the group. You don't want to just yeah, take yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And of course, we, we have a huge community that always have a, lots of great ideas and that influences us a lot. So, right. So it's a very interactive... Uh, th there's kind of like an ongoing dialogue, if you will. Yeah, definitely. And you really, it's important to really listen to, to those people in the community and, and the people you work with as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yes. You sound like a great leader. We could use some leadership. <laughs> I mean, in the world, in Minecraft, I'm, this is, listen. Uh, uh, do you, how did you, how did you get involved, uh, Jens, with, with Minecraft? What's, what's your sort of, your origin story? Well, um, <clears throat> I got involved uh, uh, when, uh, when Marcus, uh, who created the game, Marcus, uh, who is known as Notch, yeah. uh, he, uh, he, uh, the, he had to quit his day job to, to work on Minecraft full time, and it's growing really fast. And he, he formed Mojang in order like, to, to take care of Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the, like, the, the idea we had was like Minecraft had peaked, you know? So he was looking for people to work on new games. Oh, so he brought you in not to work on Minecraft. No. He was like, Minecraft is already, is already set. We're, we're good with that. Please come and work on some new games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then what happened? Uh, it, well, that didn't happen, more or less. <laughs> you, you, did, you, just, you just worked <laughs> on Minecraft. Well, yeah, I, I, there, there was so much to do on Minecraft, so I started helping out with that. And uh, just uh, like when I started working at Mojang, it had sold uh, 700,000 copies. Yeah. Just, just a few, few months later, it was 1 million, and a year later, it was 2. So like it was just taking off. That's uh, yeah, yeah and it's just been like a global phenomenon. And obviously the fans around the world and the fans here are super excited. And, and <laughs> it is it is such a great it's such a great community. And you guys do obviously do such a great job of taking care of that community. And I, I know from my own experience, my kids uh, are playing or they're watching YouTubers uh, with, you know around Minecraft all the time. Um, I'm one of those dads who's like turn it down. Um, <laughs> 
But it is fun to see them get super excited about. And you know, I, I wanted, uh, they've always got so many questions. I know a lot of you guys out there have questions that you would love to ask Jens, but it's my turn. And, uh, <laughs> and, but I always think about like, what are those things, like what are the possibilities? Because it does seem like Minecraft has no limit. It, it's almost like you could do anything. And so I know that for my own kids, it's always like, what could you build? Is there like a, could you build like a, you know, what, what would be some new update that would be crazy? Could you get like, like, a, like a flower that, that shoots out of a rocket that you can, you know, whatever. What are the limitations? No, you're right. Like, uh, like almost anything goes. Uh, and uh, like, we always want to update and add new stuff to Minecraft. Mm -hmm. uh, we have kind of settled on like the, like the core Minecraft that we call the vanilla Minecraft. That's like a fancy adventure game. So we kind of try to stay to that theme, uh, but there are like mods and add-ons and everything that moves beyond that. Um, but uh, every day, not like every year, we want to like improve the, the vanilla gameplay as well. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so does it, it seems to me, do you guys spend a lot of your time thinking about, like, talk about trying to think outside the block? <laughs> guys, it's my show, okay? <laughs> uh, we're on my time. This is a great mug. <laughs> right? 1099. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, not water. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, do you guys spend a lot of your time thinking, like, trying to figure out new ways to outsmart yourselves? Like, what is, what are those kind of uh, those sessions like, where you're spitballing what the new updates are going to be? Um, yeah, like it, it's it's kind of funny because after every up, like big update we've done, I'm, I'm kind of like. What should I do now? <laughs> yeah, like, right, right. <laughs> what's next? Because you've been focused on one one and update. And people are people want more. Too. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of course. So sometimes I get inspiration from f uh, things that I see, like movies, yeah, and uh, and other video games, or even just walking around in the street. Yeah. Uh, but uh, many times I just sit down and have like a really intense Minecraft session and and try to feel out what areas can we uh, expand upon uh, yeah. uh, next. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of funny, like the, one of the updates we did this year, the World of Colors, was actually inspired because I just saw this, this beautiful um, like terracotta floor, like uh, uh, Moroccan tiling. Yeah. And, and I was just looking at the tiles and I saw like, hey, wait a second, it's just one tile that they rotated around and it created these really, really nice um, patterns. And I thought, hey, we can do that in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that created, like, we, we now have these really colorful blocks. And then we like, oh, we can build a whole theme around this. You, yeah. it's cre you, you've created an entire generation of people who are spend most of the day going, hey, you could do that in Minecraft. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a global definitely. army of, but it's great. It's so inspirational. And, and, and so I know that you've got a lot of really exciting new updates uh, yes. that, that you might want to be able to talk about a little bit. Yeah. Walk us through some of these exciting updates that are coming. So now, now when we have, like, we have the Java edition and we have the, 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 like the Bedrock editions, uh, like all caught up. So ne next year, we're going to release the, the update on all platforms at the same time. More or less, not maybe on the same day, but more or less at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the next update, uh, that's going to be the update Aquatic. Update Aquatic. Wow. So, so tell us a little bit about some of the. Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? Wow, that's so cool. So what is this? Uh, you want to talk a little bit about these? Uh, We'll wait until after the clip. Sure.
That looks so, that looks so cool. And, and judging by the, uh, the fan reaction, uh, people are going to be super excited about this. Why don't you yeah. walk us through this update a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Red. Yeah, absolutely. So we were talking backstage uh, about the bubble columns. Like, there were a lot of questions about them. What, what, what do they actually do? And, and a lot of these uh, changes we're doing are, are of course, just we're, we're prototyping. Uh, like textures and uh, graphics and can change, and all even behaviors may change when we got, start snapshotting and uh, testing things out with the community. But one thing is that many of these uh, will affect the way water works in, in Minecraft. And um, one thing is that items will now start floating on the surface, and the, a bubble column which is created by these uh, mag magma blocks, uh, they're going to like break the buoyancy of, of water, so everything will fall down into them. Ah. So if you're, if you're, there will be like uh, ravines on, underwater with these magma blocks. Uh, yeah. So we, when you're riding a boat, suddenly the boat might start shaking. You have to like, get back to the solid surface again, uh, or you will f fall down into the, into the ocean. Um, but mainly, we're interested to see how this can be used in various contraptions. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. And, uh, and then uh, we, have, uh, we are adding a new weapon that we call the Trident. Um, the Trident. Yeah. I love that. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a weapon you can do both in melee and you can, and you can throw it. Yep. But uh, as you saw in the clip, like, it, it, like, if you throw it, you, you lost your weapon. Lost right? the weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's so you're weaponless. So it doesn't, it, yeah, throwing the weapon doesn't seem like a good idea. No, definitely not. So there's a, there's a special enchant, enchantment for, for tridents called loyalty that makes it come back. Like nice. Hammer. Loyalty. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I'd like to get that. And there's also a bunch of other in, uh, enchantments for it. Like one is uh, it's called, called Riptide, that when you're swimming and you throw the trident, it's like a dashing. So you get like a, a push forward. Oh, like a little push forward. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun because you can, if, you, if you're in the su at the surface and you throw it up, you, can, you jump like a dolphin. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, and one, one uh, fun thing that, uh, that Dina Bone suggested was that it only works in water, but we made it now also work when it's raining. So ah. it's like, like, have you ever like, yes, it's raining in Minecraft? It, <laughs> no, I... <laughs> no. <laughs> but now you're like, yes, it's raining. You take on your Elytra, and you throw the trident, and you just swoop away. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's really nice. That sounds fun. Yes, and then we have the coral and the kelp, uh, and we have the, like, the actual fish. Um, and this is uh, like to add more variety into the oceans and then more things to see. Um, and also, like in the, in the video clip, you saw a coral and a coral and kelp right next to each other, but they're going to be separated because we're going to have ocean uh, biomes, so warm and cold oceans with different uh, type of terrain. Oh and wow! And all the fish that you currently fish as items, uh, they will exist as proper fish. So we have like a salmon and tropical fish and uh, clownfish and um, puffer fish for. Uh, and et cetera, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot some. Good. Um, that was good knowledge. <laughs> yes. And uh, they, uh, um, for Minecraft players, this will work similar to bats. They will come and go. But if you catch one with a bucket, you will get a bucket with water and fish in it. And you can put this out. And this is going to be like a persistent fish. So you can use it to, uh, uh, to build aquariums in your houses. And you, you will keep your fish. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Don't forget to feed them. Yeah. And then I, I mentioned changes to the water physics. And primarily what we want to do is to be able to build with uh, uh, slabs and stairs and, um, and fences underwater without getting in these weird air pockets. Like, that's, that's the objective we're trying to solve. But then it also kind of makes sense that you have, like, more proper water movement through these blocks. Uh, and w we are aware that th this call will come with a lot of like new behaviors. So it's, we're gonna uh, try things out and uh, see how it works. But like the main goal is to make it easier to build uh, underwater. So yeah, right. So it's gonna be yeah. That's so cool. And it'll kind of evolve over time as as yeah as you use it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then we have like more uh, underwater terrain uh, with the shipwrecks and um, uh, icebergs. So it's going to be more variation in the, in the ocean terrains. 
uh, things to find. And uh, iceberg. We'll, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, uh, there will be more uh, different treasures to find, uh, which brings me to dolphins. Um, dolphins. Yeah. I mean, how excited! How excited is everybody for the dolphins? Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, well, like in every update, we try to introduce well, like one new animal mob. Um, and uh, this, uh, the dolphins will actually help you uh, in the oceans to find treasure. They will help you guide, uh, guide players. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, they're friendly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, and this is just uh, like a sneak peek of things coming. Uh, yeah. we, are, we have way more features related to the Update Aquatic. Yeah. Um, so you will so see more out, announcements. Yeah, more announcements yeah. Out, coming out sometime in the next year. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. I love, I love the, the dolphins are, are great. It's, it's nice to have a sense of porpoise. <laughs> um, well, uh, Jens, this has been a fascinating interview, uh, but, um, but I want the results of the first ever Minecraft mob vote. Yeah. How, how would I be able to do that, do you think? Oh, wait, you know what? I got it. This, this worked before. Check this out. There it is, yep. I knew it. Hey. Boo booey, everyone. Hello. There he is with the results. You know, this really is the best talk show, oh, Will. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have right here the hard earned vote for the next mob that goes into Minecraft. Jens, will you uh, do the honors? Yes, please. Oh, please Where don't, please don't be La La Land again. <laughs> please do not be La La Land. Uh, and the winner is... Mob B. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That, that is so great, and that, of course, that was my favorite. That was my favorite mob from the very beginning. My votes probably pushed it over the edge. That was the <laughs> one I. Yeah, well, actually, uh, it was a fairly close race, so I think your vote might have been, uh, you know, pretty important there. Yeah, good. Well, every vote counts, you know. Yes, it does. Well, yeah. you well, know, um, I... are you um, are you excited about the mob that was chosen, Jens? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm... Uh, <laughs> you don't sound as excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, now, 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 like uh, these uh, these mobs were uh, like they don't have a name yet, and uh, the feature set is still like you know in flux. So now, now it's uh, it's gonna be a, a challenge to f to live up to people's uh, kind of fantasies about what is the monster of the night skies. That's it's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be fun. A fun. Yeah. Oh, so and then and when can we expect the the new mob in in the game? It will be in the update aquatic. Wow, awesome, yes. awesome, coming up soon. So so not too not too long of a wait. Not yeah. too long. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay, Will. It looks like you're doing really well out here. This is an amazing show. So uh, actually, I'm gonna go find the key to the handcuffs. And uh, Jens, will you go with me and let Will just take over? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Guest again. Bye. Bye. Bye.